Hey guys, welcome to another Mondays with Sherry and Derek. Welcome to your week, guys. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm trying to control that inner bully, but I'm feeling good. Everyone talks about outside bullies. We hear it all the time, but who talks about how we bully ourselves, that little voice inside of us? Today, I'm going to be talking about how that little voice will make you think you are a fortune teller or that you have a crystal ball. And I'm going to be talking about those beliefs that we create in our head that become to us fact and truth. They ain't no truth. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Now, what am I talking about, fortune teller? I'm talking about assumptions. So many of us suffer from that. I have so many clients that don't even get out of the starting gate because they make up, how many times have you done this? Make up a story in your head when you're nervous about something or you're nervous to try something, you make up a whole scenario in your head about why that thing is not going to happen. This might happen, that might happen, that might happen. Like you are literally a fortune teller. I do it all the time. That is your mind playing games on you. How many times did you not go out for the evening with your friends? How many times did you not have a birthday party? How many times did you not go for a job, go for a date because you had these assumptions in your mind talking to you, telling you, oh, don't do that. This is gonna happen, or this could happen, or that could happen. And we always know what it comes from. It comes from fear. So that little voice gets in you, you already got the fear going on, then that little voice gets in your ear like, you are not a fortune teller. Get out of your head, like we've been saying, you know, and I know it's easier, it's, it's easier said than done. It is, I would say it all the time, it's a muscle. You are not your thoughts, you control your thoughts. So when you feel that wave of coming, when you're nervous about something, you feel that wave coming on of like, oh, I'm starting to make up those scenarios in my head that make me not even want to do it. Calm yourself, know that you are not a fortune teller. You cannot tell the future and just do what you want to do. Be free about it. Yes, something might happen that you don't like, but guess what? Something might happen that you do like. Why are we always telling ourselves these stories about the bad situation? Fear is literally the foundation of our limiting beliefs. Beliefs that limit us from creating the life we truly want and truly deserve. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear of rejection, you know, rejection turning you into a people pleaser or completely avoiding people. Limiting beliefs and these fears really grow into doubt. I'm not good enough, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not thin enough, I'm not smart enough, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time. All these things that talk you out of living your best life and really going after your goals and your dreams to make change. The key to really taking this fear and these limiting beliefs and kicking them in the teeth and wiping them out of your mind is to first and foremost identify what you're so scared about. What is your fear? What are you telling yourself mostly that you're not enough of? Number two is to recognize it's just a belief. It's just literally something that you made up in your mind that you try to gather all these reasons and all this research to grab in your mind from the air. To, <laughs> to say, yes, see, this is why I feel that way. And then, and then once you understand that it is just a belief, something that you created in your mind, then you challenge it. That is not the truth. That is not my truth. And then you wanna recognize how is this damaging me? How is this killing my dreams? How is this damaging my forward thinking to more, to happier, to better, to change? And then once you decide that I don't want this to damage me anymore, I don't want this to get in my way anymore, it's adopting a new belief. It's literally saying to yourself, I now want to believe this about myself. This is my new truth. Once you decide what you want that new truth and what you want that new belief to be about yourself, and you practice it, and you practice it, and you practice it's it. And when that comes back in your head, you recognize it, and you switch it to something that you want to believe about yourself, and you practice it, and you practice it until it is part of you, and it is truly how you feel about yourself. We just want to give you another way of stamping out that inner bully, and really going for your dreams and living your best life. You can do it. You can do it. It's 100%. A muscle. If you work out, it's the same thing. It's the biggest muscle in the body, you know? So, all right, guys, we love you as always. Be kind to yourself, don't hide from yourself, and don't bully yourself. All right, guys, see you next week. Have a great week.